The slogan for the first Alien movie is, In space, no one can hear you scream. That much is true. Interplanetary space is basically just a giant bag of nothing. However, that does not suggest that it is totally quiet. But occasionally, astronomers turn signals like radio waves, plasma waves, and magnetic fields that exist outside the realm of mortal human perception into audio files. And in today's video, you can hear the best of them. Saturn Screaming Poles There have been recordings of strange noises in space that are so unnerving that we wish we had never heard them. If you happen to have an absurd dread of someday being pulled into space and dying a solitary, lonely death in the gloomy, dark vacuum of the universe, buckle up, because it's time to listen to your nightmares. And to begin with, we will be discussing Saturn's screaming poles. These were captured by NASA's Cassini spacecraft in 2002. The tape begins with grainy static, but soon is broken up by the electric squall of what sounds like a fax machine, a distant Morse code beep, and a wind-like roar. In addition to being the first time a spacecraft has ever entered the area between Saturn and its rings, this is also the first time we have had the opportunity to hear what this particular region of space sounds like. According to the team's findings, Cassini only came into contact with a small number of particles when it passed the gap. These particles were all no bigger than smoke particles which are only a few microns wide, or a millionth of a meter. However, ring scientists were surprised because they projected significantly more dust in the region. On September 15, 2017, Cassini executed a suicide dive into the atmosphere of the planet and lost communication ending its mission in space. Sounds from the Moon's Dark Side The noises from the dark side of the Moon are far more disturbing than anything Pink Floyd has ever recorded. Not everyone likes music with a medium pitch, but everyone has their own preferences. While traveling over the far side of the Moon where the connection with Earth is cut off, astronauts on the 1969 Apollo 10 mission heard unusual music they heard several rather strange sounds while Apollo circled the moon, such really weird sounds. As a result of the recordings being classified, a transcript of the text wasn't made public until 2008. Why? We don't really know. But the audio began circulating in tabloids right around 2016 or so. You hear that? That whistling sound. One of the men is heard asking before mimicking the eerie noise, Woo! That music even sounds like outer space, doesn't it? He says. That sure is weird music, another says. This sounds like the scene in every horror film where you shout, RUN! at the top of your lungs at your TV. The noises lasted almost an hour. The trio thought the noises were so weird that they questioned whether or not to inform NASA's higher-ups, fearing they might be removed from future space flights. However, as we are all aware, NASA has not visited the moon since that time. Nevertheless, we have the Artemis II mission to look forward to, which is hoped to take place by 2024. However, before that, we can look forward to August 29th when they plan to conduct an unmanned test flight for NASA's Artemis program. Earth Cries Recorded in Space Yes, you heard that right. And no, these aren't any strange alien noises. Rather, these are the chirps and whistles that are naturally produced above our atmosphere when charged particles from the sun collide with our planet's magnetic field and may be heard by any aliens who might be listening. And to be honest, we get it. Given how we treat the Earth and how little we care for it, we shouldn't be surprised that it is pleading with extraterrestrials for assistance. However, the sound is linked to the phenomenon that causes the vibrant aurora, often known as the Northern Lights. Luckily, the radio waves cannot reach us because the ionosphere, a charged layer above our atmosphere, blocks them. That's a good thing, because the alien radio waves are 10,000 times stronger than even the most powerful military signal. Furthermore, scientists have been aware of radiation since the 1970s. Screams of a Black Hole does a black hole still produce a sound if a planet is swallowed by it, but no one is present to hear it? 
NASA published the first recordings or sonifications of what two black holes sound like in May of this year. And it's exactly the type of noise scientists and science fiction fans were expecting. Scary, otherworldly, and orally unique. The data from the black hole, located more than 240 million light years away from us in the center of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster, was discovered by the Chandra X ray Observatory. Listen to the screams coming from the Perseus Galaxy Cluster's mysterious dark heart. In essence, these waves were black hole signals that had been manipulated into the range of human hearing. However, in addition to listening to the eerie ringing of black holes, converting data into sound might help scientists explore the universe beyond our cosmic neighborhood, particularly in humanity's race to locate new exoplanets. Many people characterized it as death screams, while others thought it was appropriate. How insane is that? The Creepy Singing Comet In 2014, there was a creepy singing comet. The Rosetta spacecraft and its fillet lander have taught scientists a lot about Comet 67P slash Cherry Mob appearance, Gerasimenko's composition, and even smell. However, what does the comet sound like? The day before fillet made history by touching down on the comet surface, ESA released a recording of 67P slash C G singing. But we must stress that whoever names these things ought to come up with better names. Unfortunately, the song has a predator-like vibe and is really spooky. Obviously, it isn't a direct audio recording as sound waves cannot cross the vacuum of space. The weird, echoing, clopping noise was audible to the Rosetta spacecraft, but if a person were to be floating through space near the comet, they wouldn't be able to hear anything at all. The fluctuations were measured at a range of 40 to 50 millihertz or 10,000 hertz below the audible range for humans. Mars Quake Although Mars' interior is relatively peaceful in comparison to Earth's, there are nonetheless tremors beneath the surface. If you place your ear to the ground on Mars, you will be blessed with a symphony of noises. You will, however, need to have some kind of superhuman hearing. Why? That's because the earthquakes, which were much too faint to be heard by the human ear, were captured on camera by the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure SACE, between May and July of 2019. According to NASA, more than 100 occurrences have been found and about 21 of them are strongly considered to be quakes. The agency released audio from two earthquakes that SACE recorded, one on May 22nd and one on July 25th. They have magnitudes of about 3.7 and 3.3 respectively. They both imply that Mars' crust resembles a combination of the Moon's and Earth's. The audio has been sped up and modified so that it may be heard through headphones. It is a deep, rumbling noise. A Dying Star's Scream So, it turns out that stars have feelings as well. And that is not really surprising. They are far bigger than us. In comparison to a star, we are a tiny dot or even less. The final cry of light from a dying star before it was ripped apart by a super massive black hole flashed into the abyss of space from the center of a galaxy 215 million light years away. As the star's remnants are drawn in, they emit blips of light every 200 seconds with occasional delays. So how does it sound? The answer is pretty easy. It resembles a D-sharp played on a synthesizer at a pitch that is around 16 octaves below the center of a keyboard. Basically, when a star approaches too closely to a black hole, the star is first stretched and then pulled so hard that it is ripped apart by the black hole's powerful tidal force, which is the result of its gravitational field. This tidal disruption event, TDE, produces a bright flare of light before the debris of the destroyed star escapes beyond the event horizon of the black hole. However, a cloud of dust frequently blocks at least some of the light flare, making it challenging to observe the finer features. The real-life star was discovered going into a supermassive black hole in the constellation Draco, 3.9 billion light years away. The researchers believe that the black hole's gravity has dragged the star apart, forming a disk of material that circles the black hole. 
smaller black holes in our galaxy, and a massive black hole comparable to this one at the core of a neighboring active galaxy have both been found to exhibit oscillations similar to this. Such screams from a star being swallowed by a black hole have never before been heard, let alone from one that is so far away or that was previously believed to be inactive as this one.